Alrighty folks, hello and welcome to Talladega. My name is John Theodore, streaming live at twitch.tv slash John underscore A underscore Theodore. Recorded version of this broadcast at youtube.com slash John Theodore. Thank you very much for tuning in. We are starting third here in the number three, Corey Bush for Congress. Chevrolet Camaro ZL1. Forty-five laps, hoping to avoid any more uh, video crash whammies like we just had at NIS fixed. And uh, yeah, it's Talladega week. Talladega's been punishing. We got one decent finish in A-Fix last night, hoping for another one here. And uh, also we got Nathan uh, Jurgensen, guest spotter. So uh, Nathan, go ahead, please say hello, hello to the people. Hey everybody, John, let me know if you have any of those video issues. Maybe I can talk you through it. Just say video or say something and I'll try to talk you through it. Yeah, 10-4. I'll, I'll, uh, if, if the screen freezes, I'll definitely let you know. Sorry, sorry guys, I'm just looking at paint scheme. So hopefully we can get right on uh, Gabriel Perry's bumper here and uh, seal off second spot and then ride there for a while. Yep, good idea here to stick on the bottom and uh, I'll, let, I'll let you know if uh, there's some energy up top. Okay, sounds good. Apparently third place in uh, GTLM just crashed in the Petit Le Mans. Here we go. 45 laps. Let's do this thing. Shoehorn, thanks for the follow. Go, go. Looks like we're going. Go, go, yep. Go. Five drop down in front of me. It's fine. Surprising. Stay high. Stay high. I had such a run, I thought it was worth taking a shot. Alright, after the yellow car, drop down. You're going to have a gap after the yellow car here. All clear. Yeah, I mean, I can. Folks just don't trust the A cars to be able to hold the high line. Alright, you're getting some help here. The suck up in these cars is definitely better than it used to be. be surprised if we all rode in the line for a while. Someone's going to try to make something happen at some point. Alright, there is a top line forming here. About three cars behind you, four cars behind you. Okay. Yep, Two and I see behind you if someone else has jumped up here. They're not moving forward as much as a new car keeps jumping up, if that makes sense. Yep. But if they keep moving, if they keep getting cars, it'll eventually start getting some momentum. If they got a bad, uh, a bad bump, somebody went up to the wall, that cost them a little bit of momentum. Alright, Carlos. 
build three car lanes back behind you before you get any help. Car low. Okay. Two car lanes. One car lane. They're there. Stay high here. That was a nice little shove from that guy. He didn't touch me, but he pushed the air pretty good. Yeah, that's the one car. Stay high here. Stay high. Only the one car is the only good pusher here. There's a pretty good gap behind him. Hey, you got the leader now. Stay high. Three of you are real tight, good energy. Stay high. Yep. Well, that proves that the high line can work in the A car. It never did that on the old package. On the old package, what I just did would have been impossible. Right, stay high. You're real tight. Okay, the guy behind you is down by the yellow line now. You can come down a little if you want. That's good. Still there. People are bailing, that means that we're going to have to bail too. So far, only one car bails, and that gap is going to be filled. So you're going to lose some energy here for sure. Yep. Alright, stay high. You still have cars to load you. behind you, that's all over the place, but let's you know, let you know when you're around him, he's not able to hold the line. 10-4. Guy almost just came right up into me. Alright, just stay high, that one car is a good trap distraction for him right now. 10-4. I just realized that I actually led a lap. One's a real good pusher for sure. All right, top line's gonna have a little bit of energy here. They're there in your bumper. All right, you're all clear. If you wanna come up, they're gonna have some energy on exit. All clear. All clear, he didn't like that. You were clear, that was totally legal. Stay, keep up top here, middle three. Okay, now you're two, start low. And four. Behind the car low. Stay middle. You up the track a little bit, but stay middle, you're all good. Yeah, the way that that works didn't exactly work well for anyone. Well, the one car wanted to hang you out and he hung himself out. Yep. But the video, yeah, he gave me a little bit of a bump and it just didn't bump right. 
Probably should have stayed low. It would have been the safer move, but, you know, trying to hold the lead. Yep, I can see he's getting aggressive. Top line, cloud line, only five cars. All right, top line is now only four cars. If I can get you low, I will. Ooh. We just went through what would have been a frame rate freeze, I think. Frames dropped down to 53, and I heard some static through the uh, headphones, but it didn't actually freeze the screen, so some of the graphic settings that we changed might have helped. All right, which moves on my end? Uh, your five card top line, five card bottom line. Real tight here, real tight. Chris Viriello has Where gone. Go. Hey, Hart. Or Hart. All right, here we go. All right, you got a good push here. Got some energy on the top line now. Nice. Yeah, we'll try to use that coming off four here. that orange car. I see what you're talking about. He is all over the place. Yeah, he's a high car number. Five car might jump up in front of us. Yeah, we can use that on the top line. Yep, there we go. He's going to go get the lead right now. I think that this will work for him. He'll pass the two, and then he might slot down. Well, if you both can slot down, that'd be nice. The top line's really struggling to get some energy. I mean, look at this big gap behind you, you know? Yeah. I have no idea. I have no idea why he did that. Dude, I don't know why you went all the way to the wall like that. I don't know what he's complaining about. I don't know what he's complaining about either. <laughs> Everyone's salty. All right, you're going to be clear here going into three. Yep. I have no qualms about leaving the five up high. All right, there's only four cars on the bottom line. Many, I'm sorry, four on the top line, four on the bottom. This is good. Your uh, two cars are now clear. 10-4. You and the two are clear, then two by two behind you. This would be awesome if we didn't have to make a green flag pit stop at some point. Yeah, 10 4, you're uh, left 15 right now. So, I'm going to go ahead and change this to what I'm going to need. Five gallons. Car high. Car high. The two's up, up 
And no tires. Four car right behind me has been pretty good. Four and two car cleared me. Okay, you're all clear here, all clear. So it's me, I'd stay low, but up to you. Car high, good job. He's getting shuffled, he's three, three wide behind you. Bye, two. Okay, all the way to the bottom. Oh, they're oh, wrecking. Behind you. They're wrecking. Oh, hey, it's the 15 and the 5. <laughs> yeah, that was perfect. No caution, right, though. They both stayed low, no yellow. It's uh, two cars here, two cars on the bottom. You have a gap, actually a bad gap. The top line's going to have a bunch of momentum here. 10-4. can't believe there's no caution to that. You only have one pusher here. Okay, now you have two pushers here. Three on the bottom, all good here. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I see the, uh, two, the four, then two by two. Two's got good momentum on the top side. To get a nice out of a box for my kid. All right, the top line has energy. Better, uh, you could go high if you want here. They're going to have a run out of four. I think I might just stay low. Going high didn't work well last time. I mean, it eventually worked well, but... The bottom line is that warmed up as well. Yeah. Not sure, not yet. We still got, I mean, I still show 18 laps left of fuel on my uh, ticker, so we got a good bit of time left. Quite a smart thing to hit somebody going in the corner. If you pit, you lose the lap. I don't think so. Okay, they're wrecking behind you, they're wrecking behind you. They, they saved, saved it. it. Wow. There's going to be a big check up here, the top two are going to have a gap. The 10 car is not going to lose the draft here, so. Little bunch back up here in the back three. Okay. If you and the four on the bottom, three car links to the ten, then two car links to two by two. Four looks like he might want to make a move, but staying there for now. Okay, with these guys pitches, they're going to have a run. There's two car links back. One car links back at the four. They've been on the bottom here. They've caught you. Yep, looks like they're just going to hang on the bottom. Cool. Five cars on the bottom, then two by two. 20 laps complete. Yeah, I would just run this as long as you can. Hope, figure there'll be a caution, probably. Yeah, especially as it gets closer and people start getting more impatient the way that they're racing. I would not be surprised if we got a yellow. Although if the reps keep clearing down below the yellow line like they've been doing, we won't get one. Four car just ended on the apron. Yeah, I saw that. You can do it. <laughs> All right, three cars, then two by two. Three cars on the bottom. We used the four, the ten, then two by two. The top line is not well formed, though. The five is our... Whatever car that is is making a pretty good headway, though. Ten four. The yeah, they definitely line. have made it so that the, you know you can do some. You, the, the high line has some options now. That in a way that they didn't before. You can definitely make that high line work. Right, up yellow. Sorry, you ended up off the yellow. The four will take that if you do that. Yeah, I know. It's the same thing I did to the two. He left me just enough room that I was able to take it. All right, when you pet, I don't think you need any tires. 
Yeah, no tires and five gallons of fuel is what I'm taking. Just enough to make it to the end. Yep, yep, sounds good. All right, four cars on the bottom, single file, then two by two. Since I'm leading, I might actually have to bump that up to the next level on the uh, fuel. We'll see. Pit board says I need 4.27. Oh, man. That's a lot. Uh, they're, they're coming back up. There we go. Yeah. Good deal. Perfect. Six cars were cleared that wreck very cleanly while we'll check damage uh, behind that boat. That's really good for us. If we just make a if we make a clean pit stop and get five gallons of fuel, we're fine. Yeah, five is more than enough here, especially if you caution Yeah. To whoever was in front of me, I uh I didn't expect such a big checkup. Alright, I'm gonna go rewatch that wreck. Yeah, ten four. behind the pace car. All right. Get it down. Pace speed is 65, right? Or pit road speed. I think it's 65. We'll find out shortly. Fifty-five. All right, there's my pit board. check up on the bottom line and had an accordion effect and one guy spun low but then corrected it back up high and took out a few more guys. Yeah, 10-4. Alright, watch the commitment line here. Cars involved were the 6, 11, 13, 14, and 17. Alright. I like to have that list just in case they're in our drafting lines at the end. They've got damage. Run that list through again. The 6, the 11, the 13, the 14, and the 17. Kind of, n none of those guys have been factors up front. Right, yeah. The two guys that were factors up front were the 15 and the 5 that got caught in the one that didn't bring out a yellow. 15's done. Right. Sounds like the uh, truck race dig is starting up. So yeah, we got plenty of fuel now. Fuel won't be an issue. Restrictor plates, Storm. So because of how fast uh, you can go around these tracks, NASCAR puts a restrictor plate 
used to be over the carburetor. Now they put it over, I guess, the inject. I'm not exactly sure how it works in the fuel injection system. But basically, instead of just being a straight pipe, there are four little holes drilled into the plate. So you think about it like you would on your um, faucet at home. If you put a plate in there that had four little holes, then they the, the, the flow of air and fuel into the piston is drastically more restricted. So instead of um, throttle body, thank you guys. Uh, throttle body and intake manifold. So instead of having, you know, I mean, un completely unrestricted, these cars would be able to run 900, 950, 1,000 horsepower these days. Um, the restrictor plate that they put on them cuts them down to about 450, I think. So it just it cuts the, the horsepower, um, which is a big part of why you see it takes so long to actually get the thing wound up to full speed. No, it, it creepy van. It was Bill Elliott, and it was in 1987. It was Bill Elliott, not Rusty Wallace. And it was 1987, and then that same year, if you look it up on YouTube, if you look up Bobby Allison Talladega crash, there is a Bobby Allison had a really scary looking wreck when he blew a front, uh, blew a tire, left rear tire, on the gum through the tri oval, went up into the catch fence and took out a huge question. No, no, no. I appreciate the new questions because if you're asking it, there are other folks who don't. I, I like being able to, you know, I, li I like when you ask those questions. I would prefer that you ask the questions. Don't don't apologize for asking. Never apologize for mood questions. It's one of the things that kind of grinds my gears about Internet culture is that instead of just being polite and answering questions when people ask a genuine question to try to get more information, instead of just answering the question and giving them that information, people jump on them for not knowing things. It's like... Unless you are literally an encyclopedia and you know everything in the world, everyone has stuff that they don't know. Asking questions and getting answers from people who do have that knowledge is how human beings have shared information and knowledge since we invented language. So never never feel bad about asking quote-unquote noob questions, at least not on my channel. <laughs> I'm never going to give you a hard time for not knowing something. Ten four creepy. <laughs> Warren Warren might know everything. All right, so it looks like we are going to have eighteen laps to go here, Nathan. As we uh, get four. set. Just a carp cup race left here. Outside lane 16. Good deal, Storm. Yeah, man. Is it you pronounce that Storm, Stormy, or Store Army? Yeah, that Bobby Allison Carrius was unreal. Good deal. Ten four JVJX. That's why we're we're on a mission to civilize. All right, it's you and the seven on the bottom line. The one and the twenty on the top line. The four car has been a real nice pusher for us. He's third in line on the top line. Cool. Oh yeah, the four car. Yeah, if we can get him pushing us again, that'd be awesome. But. uh We'll see what we can do with the seven pushing us here. I don't know what the one car is doing way up there. Nope, I don't know. I'm actually riding a little bit slower than pace car speed, so I'll take it up to 65. I'd go whenever you'd like, pace car is in. Try to wind it up slowly so that the seven can give me a good push. There we go. And all green, you're all clear here. Two by two behind you. Uh, 
top line is better formed right now. Ten four. You've got one car behind you, then a pretty big gap. One car is dropping in. You are four, five cars in line on the bottom. That's exactly no what we line. wanted to do. <laughs> yep, good job there. Hang, hold that yellow line there. Four and the twenty are going to try to make the top line work. They're about seven car lengths behind you. Left, hung the 20 out, so he's alone up top four cars behind you. I mean, the best thing that can happen for us is that top line never gets formed. Yeah, 10-4 would be nice to race like this for the white flag, but I think the four car, he's, he's looking pretty racy. He's trying the top line again here. Yeah. Well, there, are, there aren't many laps, and it takes a while to get it to form. If, you, if you're trying right, to start... Top line is formed. Okay. Top line is formed. They do have energy. 10-4. Yeah, if you're trying to start forming the top line on the last lap, it's already too late. All right, looking high, looking high, looking high, block them high. Go middle, go middle. All right, now they're there. Now you're three wide. You're three wide. You have help behind you. Three wide. You're three on the bottom. Stay low. You're still three. Okay, you're clear. You're all clear. Middle line here is going to have a run. You're all clear. You're four cars on the bottom. All clear two by two behind. Oh, they're wrecking big time. Wrecking, wrecking, wrecking. And All right, we're gonna have to do that restart one more time. Yeah, that was my fault. I'm sorry, bro. Yeah, no shit. You were riding my rear quarter the whole time. And I'm sorry, I was like a second, a second behind you there. I was still a second behind you. So sorry, if those calls were late. I'm sorry. No worries. You're fine. When you were calling me to block, I was watching it in my mirror, and I was like, ah, I don't want to block oh, that. Sorry, I wasn't getting any help right there. Twenty was stretching me into you. Yep, you did a good job there. I'm going to go look at uh, what cars have damage now. 10-4. Back out instead of trying to, you know, drive over you. Uh, no need to pit, obviously. Yep. Oh, I can hold my line perfectly, but when I'm getting pinched, I don't know. That was funny. You apologize. You said it was your fault, but then you're making excuses. <laughs> no, I said it was my fault, but I'm giving a reason of why it happened, yeah. It's not an excuse. The thing is, a few laps before that, you weren't getting pinched and you were... Fun fact, the uh, I'm walking here line was an improv line. That cab drove onto the set, and Dustin Hoffman came up with that line on the spot. Nice. When? Hey, I'm walking here. Which movie yeah, was that? The driver of that... That's <laughs> Midnight Cowboy, classic John. Oh, Wick. my uh, gosh. I don't think I've actually... About? I haven't actually seen that movie. Oh, man, I gotta go check. To watch that. Yeah, I guess that's what my afternoon is. <laughs> yeah, that is classic uh, new wave American new wave cinema right there. Nice. Now you're making me want to watch Heat. I haven't watched Heat in forever. All right, the two car caused that wreck. He was in the middle line and just came down, hooked the 13, 13 into the 20. Yeah, it explains why the 13s, man. <laughs> We've got the one, two, and the three, one, two, three. <laughs> or it looks like one, two, four, actually, but yeah. Four car got some damage. If we can do that same type of restart again, we're going to be in really good shape. So who's but who's in, in like the top ten? Who doesn't have damage right now? I'm counting it up right now. I know me and the one don't have any damage. I know the eleven does have damage. Dang. <laughs> have 
about 10 to go, a little bit more, maybe, maybe 10 or 11 to go. Yeah, fighter. Yeah, my list of cars with Rex is very, very long. Two, four, five, six, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen. Got a lot. Fourteen, Thanks, seventeen, Warren. fifteen, twenty, nineteen. So it's uh, there's a lot. I'm just just, just count, count the ones that damage. don't have damage. Yeah, <laughs> the, the, the list yeah, of cars exactly. without damage is a lot shorter. <laughs> it's only a twenty car race. <laughs> So, fighter, yeah, where, where you are, they don't pronounce ours. Where I am, they add ours into words that don't have them, like Washington. <laughs> and Warsh. I think that might be the only one. I mean, it might just be you, the you, the one, the seven. Is that it? If that's the case, we're in, we're in really good shape. I think the eight is clean. Okay. Where's he? Sixth? Okay. Sixth, yeah. Yeah. I mean, if that's the case, they might... Uh, I'm not going to call anything. We're just going to you know, play it moment by moment. But it's possible that if there aren't that many undamaged cars, that they might not have enough to even form up an outside line. It looks like the 16 and the 18 St. Louis, clean. Missouri. Hard and uh, dirty. My second grade teacher used to say Washington and Warsh. She was an awesome teacher. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ten four, creepy. The 19 is pretty clean. Okay. But he's... Oh, he's fifth. Okay. So... That gives us five cars in the top six that are pretty clean. You're from Washington, Warren? Nice. All you guys with those Twitch Prime badges, just FYI, if you haven't used your free sub, uh, some of the guys on my channel might have a suggestion on where you can use it. For every one of any of you, Hart, thank you for the sub. <laughs> Much appreciated. <laughs> what a coincidence. Oh, my goodness. How did that happen? Thank you, man. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the family. Let's get some sub hype in for Heart Mark One. So we're gonna have eleven laps to go when we go back green here. Ten four. Just do what you did last time. Yeah. Basic. So for those of you watching, basically, what I did on that restart, because I know that the guy on the outside can't pass me. So I made sure that the guy close behind my bumper was tight, and then instead of just stomping on the gas, I just kind of slowly accelerated, make sure he knew that what I was doing and he was coming with me, so I made it really easy for him to stay sealed to my bumper. It's in his best interest to stay tight to me and to not allow the guy in second to slot down in between, so if I make that easy on him, we both get a good push, and it kind of strung things out. Uh, no, I didn't ask where you guys are from, Manuit, but it, it's kind of relevant to what we're talking about with accents, and particularly regional accents and stuff like that. Good stuff. This is a friendly channel. We're all friends here. Anyone who doesn't get that can watch another one. There are a lot of there's so much media out there. There's so many channels. My philosophy is if you like my stuff. Come hang out and watch me, and that's awesome. If you don't like my stuff, go literally anywhere else. Go find something you do like and watch that. 
Thanks for the follow, Hard MK1. Real appreciate it. All right, just a, re a reminder. That's the iRacing one. iFlag. If you do exclamation mark iFlag water boy, you can get the link to the site if you're interested in getting your own. It it does patterns right now. It's blinking yellow for caution. It'll blink green. It'll go green when we go back green. Um, it's cool. Thank you, Minnow. We really appreciate that. All right, sorry, Nathan. Go. No rush here. I just wanted to reiterate the 1, 7, 8, 16, 18, 19. Those are the clean cars. 10, 4. A one, couple seven, of guys eight, are 16, fast. 18, 19. Okay. Yep. 1, 7, 8, 16, 18, 19. And a couple of guys who are quick have only rear end damage. And I think the 4 car is an example of that. I'm not sure, you know, how that will affect them. It's pretty significant damage. 10, 4. However this race goes, we've, been, we've led a lot of laps. MK4, thank you for the follow. really appreciate that. I think you're the class of the field here today, John. <laughs> I've tried to be. We'll see how it goes. Oh, wow, the four's uh, left rear looks jacked in my rearview mirror. Yeah, exactly. I'd, I'd be worried about that. That, that would affect him in a two-car draft for sure. Yeah, and he, uh, he's bad on track position here. He hasn't come in and fixed that. I don't blame him. <laughs> there aren't a lot of laps left, and it's going to be crazy. Thank you, Warren. I really appreciate that. Wait, Nathan could be a professional spotter. He's that good. Hey, how do I get into that? I'd love to do that. That's how TJ Major started. He was spotting and iRacing. Yeah, you got to spark... You got a spot for uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. to be TJ Majors. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd head off to Irwindale or something, a spot for a guy in a late model or something. That'd be fun. That'd be awesome. Is Irwindale still there? Yeah, they're not doing much with it. Yeah, they keep... When I when I was still there, they kept talking about that they were going to tear it down and build a business park. I hope that doesn't happen. Yeah, they're still talking about that. But there keep being efforts to save the speedway, so I don't know. You should go over and do their uh, late model driving experience. I did it. It is awesome. Yeah, that'd be fun. We can't wait to do it. All right, pace car is dropping. All right, we're going to do the same as before, just try to build momentum through the uh, tri-oval here. All right. You have a car high. The one car is up high. If you have a good helper behind you, then a gap. The best thing about a human off. spotter is one car is dropping down here. All your three in a row in the bottom. And four. Best thing about a human spotter is you actually get the spotter making calls when the uh, in-game spotter is busy calling things that don't matter. All right, one car is right with you there. You're four in a row in the bottom. Then two by two. All right. Coming to get 10 to go. First four cars, we're all on damage. Looks like that four car fell back like a rock. Yep. In fact, all the undamaged cars have just gone straight to the front. Okay. Is there a gap forming, or are some of the guys with damage able to hold on? Uh, the four is uh, still on the high side. He's going to get dropped to the end of this line, but you're all single file here in the line here. Four. Got ten to go. Top six are real tight. Gave me a good shove going into three there. I actually got more of a gap there than I wanted. That's looking good. Yep. Nine laps to go now. I love the view out front, man. It's so clean. Big blink. Yeah, he's blinking for me. He's right on your bumper. 
the eight to go. There is a damaged car in this line, and it's slowing down a few of these cars. This is the uh, six car. He's running in fifth, and uh, he's not being a good pusher to fourth, which is the 19, and so the top three are breaking away a little bit. That's good for us. They're getting, they're gonna get a push here. I think it'll, it'll come back together. Yeah. But lamps are winding down, so we now have seven. Blinking everywhere for me. Yeah, he's blinking for me too, badly. That's gonna kind of minimize the ability of the seven and the one to get anything working together if the one's blinking. I see him. Got another one up high further in front. And another one in front of him. Maybe call the nine car to go high. Okay, he's, going. he's going high. Stay on the bottom, yeah. Yep. Give me another lap car. You're going to be three wide here. Stay on the bottom. You're three, two, clear. Thank you. Make sure you're live. It seems like you might have been a touch late on that. Or a touch out of sync. Says I'm live. Okay. It'll be six to go this time. Bye. Alright, another lap car. You're saying I'm high. I'm going to tell you right when I'm at the. You hit the start finish line for me. 10 4. Maybe a hair late, but pretty good. 10 more. Still think the file up front here. 10 more. You're 8 in the line. There's just one damaged car that's really keeping the line performing up nicely, which is good. You're only really three or three and a half in the line uh, front. Yeah, 10 4. Six cars, kind of a parachute right in the middle of the pack. That's awesome. We got five to go this time by. Yeah, no one's super interested in stepping out and just falling back. Alright, we got, okay, still so single file here. The seven car is really peaking high. He wants, he wants the one car to do something, but they're going to probably wait for the white flag. 10 4. Only three and a half cars here in front, so it does not make sense to lose any track position right now from them. No. How are you feeling up there, John? Pretty good right now. A little nervous. I'd love to see a caution. Hang in there. Yep, coming forward to go. Caution, you win it, but you know, it's a good race, however, it finishes. But just have fun here. Lap four laps. Yeah, 10 4. Like I said, we've led a lot of laps today. That's that's been good. All right, it's a car. The 19 is running it fourth. He's having a hard time keeping up with the seven. Then the one is right on your back bumper. And four. Four laps to go. Now three and a half. Right. And we'll just have to hope that he, you know, maybe we can stall him out mid-corner or hope that he doesn't get a huge run. Yeah, that's what you can do is kind of on entry to kind of touch the brake a little bit, and that could even uh, bait the third place start to jump up high, and then you're going. Yep. Three to go. Another All lapper, right, he's, he's staying way high. Good there. The six car has been shuffled out, so now there's some energy coming behind you. 10-4. They waited way too long to do that. That's not easy to do if the six is 
doing everything that he's supposed to do necessarily. It's harder than you might than it should be sometimes to shuffle a guy out. Yeah, ten four. All right, here's only three cars in a line for place. The nineteen is dropping back a little bit more every lap. Two to go here. Two to go. Watch that run. Watch the run off the corner here, but they are they're only you're only three up front. It's gonna be tough for them. Yeah. Backed off into that corner, looking to generate a run. Didn't really do anything for him. Yeah, I see he's like four tenths back in the pack now, now five. Yeah, I don't know if the second group is going to have a chance to catch here or not, so it looks like it's the three of you right now. On a lap. And they're not generating right. enough of a run that I would actually be even super worried about it. Here we go, yeah, white they flag. Together, they can do it. All right, white flag, Lapper is staying high, don't worry about him. You're three in a line here. Step four. Watch the one car on exit, he's looking peeking high, he's baiting you high. He's staying low, he's staying low. He's staying low, he's with you. He's with you, you're three in a row. No yep. pressure after them. Watch this one car behind you, you're three in a line. Right on the yellow line. He's staying on the yellow line. He's peaking high. He's high. I see him going no high. Help. No he's help for no him. Help. I think we got a win, boys. I think we got it. Woo! Woo! Winner! Oh, goodness. Oh, it's been so long since I got a win. Hell yeah, man. Good driving. That was perfect. Yes! That was perfect. Awesome. Thank you, Nathan. Awesome spot, man. Well done. Finally got a win, man. It's been so long. I've been wanting to get a win in this Cory Bush car for forever, too. <laughs> glad you hopped out of NIS. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Hey, hey, Previn, thanks for the bits, man. Really appreciate it. Nice one, John. Thank right, you, John, thank I'm you. Hop out. Thanks, man. Put it down. Yeah, 10-4. Thank you, Good job. Good run, Lee. Appreciate it, one. Yeah, I know I probably made you a little bit mad when I uh, blocked your run coming off at two there. Sorry about that. Thanks for uh, being a good pusher there. That did not make me mad. That's racing, buddy. <laughs> good deal, man. Good race, guys. Thank you all so much. All right, here we go. That's what we like to see. Well done. Gates up. Let's get this thing around here. Loaded. We're going to do the uh, Polish victory lap. Hold it. Just like uh, Rusty and Alan Kawicki used to do. We'll speed it up a little bit. But, you know, Dale, G Dale Jr. did this one too when he won Daytona. Warren, 1,000 bits. Thank you. Thank you, guys, amateurs, man. Thank you, guys. Very cool stuff. Feels really good to get that monkey off my back. <laughs> All right, I'll burn it down. Polish victory lap indeed. It's a long one. <laughs> Nathan, man, awesome job spotting too. That was fantastic. Speed it up a little bit on the back straightaway here. That was cool. Ah. Just let that soak in. <laughs> it has been a long time since I win. It's been a real long time since I've gotten a win in the uh, cup car.
<laughs> Let's get it settled down here. We're gonna go do some donuts on the uh, paved part of the track. Oh uh, yeah, it's gonna be a some decent eye rating. All right. And we gotta do our uh, traditional burn down right at the starter stand here. There we go. <sighs> All right. That was fun, guys. Really burned it down. I think I blew it. <laughs> All right. So we got a few things to check out here. We're actually going to go... Just kind of watch the uh, whole race here. Started in uh, third there, fell back to fifth early. Yeah, no, I'm shocked. We jumped up high and just started working it, did all right there. Uh, and once we got the lead, <laughs> That's right, did it for Dale. Uh, yeah, zone 15. I tried um, the TRD delay, which seems to have stopped the crashing. I had an, a screen freeze that still knocked me out of NIS fixed because I got wrecked. There was the move that shoved the one up high. Um, so that was bad, but... Because I got knocked out of that, I ended up in this race and uh, ended up getting a win, which is my first win since, well, first win on ovals. It's the first win since I got that dirt street stock win back when I was still a D license, I think, in dirt. And it was it's my first win on oval since Dover last season in the National Series car. So there's where I got the lead. Came down and uh, sealed it off. I think the two ends up getting back around me here. And then I work my way back the two and then the five wrecks. Yeah, stopped it from completely crashing. And then I adjusted down some graphic settings, which I think has um, fixed some of the other stuff. There was another wreck there. So we'll go back and take a look at those wrecks. Actually, let's go ahead and do that because most of this was single file after that. At that From that point, I pretty much led it the rest of the way. So I want to take a look. The five was really unhappy with me for this one move that I made on him on the back straight. Which I didn't really necessarily want to do but he went so high you know you really want to when you're leading this line you really want to kind of stay in the middle line he moves up high I'm like I'm riding with him I'm riding with him and then I go down middle I'm like okay I'm not going to do it and then 
Well, he left my door open, so I went for it. Shuffled him out. I know that he's unhappy with that. And he gave me a little shot slide back in line. Let's just replay that, because... I was just surprised that he was so high. You a wall like that. Sure, sign the inner line. It's not really playing the auto too well. But so we got up there, got back to the lead, and then the two shuffles around us. And then this right here is where we made the pass for the lead. Get a run. Coming off turn two. I'm looking high like I'm going to take the momentum. Two blocks high. He leaves a lane to the bottom. And I'm able to go down to the bottom without going below the yellow line and take the top spot back that way. The two gets put in the sucker hole. As the five goes around and he just gets hung out. So that was the pass for the lead. And then the five and the 15 wreck right after that. The 15 drifts up into the five and takes them both out. Oh my goodness. That's a heck of a shot for the five and the uh, 15. It's this one, I'm gonna say that's the 15, that's definitely on the 15 for drifting up. Nathan had been mentioning that he was having trouble holding his line. My goodness, up and over. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, track position is means so much with the A car. The, the lead car has a big advantage. It's very... Let's see, let's look at the 10 here. See what happened between the 10 and the 2. A little bit of net code actually. They saved it. And we stay green. Let's see, we'll just go to where the first caution was, lap 23. Six car, it looks like. Front car. Oh, that 14 car. 12 gets bumped. And then that gets it with the 14 and the six. 14 looks like got the worst of it. So this is a bad bump from the 17 into the 12 that starts all this off. That jumped a bunch of cars. And then, uh, next caution right here, lap 30. This is the two and the 13, I think. Four wide. Oh, and the two just hooks the 13. Two did. And that's tough to judge sometimes. You're in that spot. No, I didn't, didn't get to do any green flag stops, uh, Owen. My, uh... Screen froze on me, and I wrecked, like, real early on in the race. Um, and then I think that that was it.
as far as uh, cautions. Yeah, we ended up going there. And here we go, last lap of the race. With all the damaged cars, there, were just, there wasn't much of a line that formed up. We were able to stay right on the bottom there, that Corey Bush for Congress. Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 looking real good out front. Holding the bottom line. And that was pretty much, once I got the lead, it was basically just seal off that bottom. Yeah, 10-4 Owen, I need, to learn, I need to do practice and learn how to run the road courses. Hey Dawson. That's how the race is. There's the finish right there. Number three car, victory lane. Take it around. Loop it around at the start line. Polish victory lap at Talladega. Might be the first one at Talladega ever. Demonstrate my really, really poor donut skills here. Sliding it all through the grass. <laughs> and uh, yeah. A little bit of donuts. and then burn it down. So I did not win NIS. Oh, geez. Dang thing interrupted my donuts. <laughs> I, I tell you what, my opinion of Talladega just uh, improved a lot. Winning cures all ills, let's put it that way, so. I've got a lot more positive opinion of plate tracks right now after winning one. <laughs> That's for sure. It's a decently clean little donut there. Yeah, were you in that one that I was in, Owen? Or no, you, you were in top split. I think I was second split today. My I ratings dropped a lot. Good stuff. Thank you, guys. Really appreciate y'all. Um, gonna save this replay. Gonna rename it. All right. Good stuff. Let's pull up the results and see. Uh, reap the spoils there. Hundred sixty one points, so not a big points haul. I got more points for my fifth place last night. Seventy four I rating though, that's nice, and uh point two seven safety. So getting close to getting back over two. <laughs> my safety rating has tanked. Yeah, so uh who is that? Lakuma. Top of the leaderboard after that win. Good stuff. All right, well, uh, if you guys are watching on YouTube, thank you very much. We got a winner. How awesome is that? <laughs> um, if you like this video, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and uh, ring the notification bell to get notifications about when I upload new videos. Most importantly, head over to twitch.tv slash john underscore a underscore theodore. Click that heart button to give me a follow. 
and uh, come join me on the next live broadcast. Thank you very much. Peace out. And thank you as well to Nathan Jurgensen for doing a fantastic job spotting. That was awesome stuff, man. So big thanks to Nathan on uh, helping me get that win. Thanks to Warren, uh, Prebenty, Gazometers, everyone who uh, donated the uh, biddies after the win. Prebenty, MK Fort, Gazometers, Warren D., and G. Benson. Thank you guys very much. Be, uh, awesome stuff. Really appreciate y'all. And uh, have a good one. Peace out.